All right, we've got a simple mixed operations problem here. It's uh, 6 plus 6 times 6 plus 6 equals what? If you want to, you can pause the video here. Uh, we'll come back and work it out together. All right, so 6 plus 6 times 6 plus 6. We've got the order of operations. Uh, if you remember how that works, first of all, you would look for parentheses, solve everything inside of the parentheses, then look for exponents, then multiplication and division. Uh, those have equal precedence. They're solved left to right. And then finally, step four would be addition and subtraction. Well, in this problem, we don't have any parentheses, so you go to the next step. Um, this is one of the big mistakes people make. A lot of times people see no parentheses, and they automatically assume that you just solve left to right. All right, so again, people make that mistake. There are no parentheses, but you go to the next step. So you look for exponents, and again, there are none, so you go to the next step. We don't have parentheses. We don't have exponents, so you look for multiplication and division. Well, we do have multiplication, uh, so that is solved next. And I know a lot of people think you just blindly solve left to right, but you actually need to do this multiplication first. Um, let me get the pointer going here. So you do the 6 times 6, you get 36. Then step 4, you would do the addition and subtraction. 6 plus 36 plus 6 equals 48. All right, the other thing we've got, we've got a lot of false statements that people make. Um, these are some of the common ones that I run into. These are probably the top three. And the first one here is order of operations only applies when there are parentheses. Uh, the second one I hear often is order of operations only applies to algebra. And then number three, um, I hear this one over and over. In my day, the answer was 78. Um, all three of these are false. Um, order of operations only applies when there are parentheses. Hmm. Uh, no, multiplication already has precedence over addition and subtraction. Multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition. I can replace the 6 times 6 by adding 6 6 times, and you're still going to get the same answer of 48, but you need to solve the multiplication first. Now, the other one here is order of operations only applies to algebra. Again, that's false, too. Uh, the order of operations applies to algebraic and non-algebraic expressions and equations. I don't really know where that, that false uh, rumor got started. I mean... The order of operations goes back to some of the earliest books on algebra back in the 16th century. We're talking like the mid-1500s, uh, but it certainly doesn't mean that it only applies to algebra. That's just, just not true. And then, of course, the other famous one here is, in my day, the answer was 78. You just solved left to right. Now, the order of operations is centuries old in Western civilization. I mean, you can date it back to early books in the 1500s, but I'd say it even goes back further than that. I mean, you've got the formula for the area of a circle, a equals pi r squared. You know, you solve the exponents, the r squared, before you multiply by pi, and you always see it written a equals pi r squared, and yet you do the exponents before the multiplication. And why do you think that is? Well, it's because exponents have precedence over multiplication. And that formula has been around for a very long time. Uh, so no, it, it was never 78. Um, and I'll say too that PEMDAS and the order of operations is not incorrect. PEMDAS is correct. But what's wrong is a lot of people misunderstand PEMDAS. Frankly, people misunderstand PEMDAS, BODMAS, and a lot of these acronyms. What they don't realize is that you know PEMDAS is not a six-step checklist. It could be written M before D or D before M because multiplication and division have equal precedence. In the same way, addition and subtraction are equal too. Um, I've had people try to tell me that, well, addition comes before subtraction because the letter A is, comes before the letter S. Um, no, that's not true. You memorize the order of six letters but you really failed to understand uh, the order of operations. The same is true here with Bodmus, Vedmus, Bidmus. 
Those are also acronyms, but they all mean the same thing. Uh, BODMAS would be brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Uh, BEDMAS, they use exponents and they still use brackets. BIDMAS, they use the word indices, but indices, orders, we're all talking about the same stuff here. So these all give the same answers. Again, I mentioned this before, the multiplication is nothing more than repeated addition, and it needs to be solved first. I can take the 6 times 6 and replace it with equivalent addition. 6 times 6 is the same thing as adding 6 6 times. Well, you add all these 6s up, you're going to get 48. So hopefully this video has been uh, helpful. And uh, if so, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Check out the playlist uh, on the order of operations. And uh, hope to see you in the next video.